Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to live stream. Just going on live on TikTok. Bear with me. I am running a little bit late. <laughs> uh, but how are we all doing? Aston Villa against Arsenal. It is a massive game for both teams. And we are about to be underway. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the biggest game for Arsenal. I mean, especially with Manchester City winning, with Liverpool losing. This is a massive game for Arsenal. It's a huge game for Villa in the fight for top four. <sighs> My God. We are underway at the Emirates Stadium. Like I said, I am a little bit late getting everything ready, but I am live just as Villa have kicked off. Come on, you Villa boys. Let's get into them. If Havertz scores, you should do a forfeit. I'd rather not. He's a good player, actually. Little late. Well, actually, I, I did say I... Um, on the scheduled stream, it was like 4.28, so I'm like two minutes late. <laughs> I'm just getting things ready. Um, I weren't even too sure I was actually going to do this stream today, but I am here. And we'll go very quickly, we'll go through the lineups of both teams. Uh, let's not take the piss here. He's the exact same as what he was like at Chelsea. I mean, he's done a bit better, to be quite fair. Villa do have a throw in. It's a long one from Digne. Shot from again. Still not clear. Header from Watkins. And it loops just over Raya's goal. Villa with the first chance of the game. And uh, Trossard is still down holding his head. Uh, so the lineups will go through Aston Villa. Hello to everyone on the TikTok. Uh, I am live on TikTok and YouTube. AJSTV underscore. You can find me anywhere. Uh, I am live on multiple platforms. Feel free to follow. Would be very much appreciated. Hello to you, Seb. What's good? Uh, how has he done better? He scored a lot of goals. Ha uh, Havertz, to be to be quite fair to him. Uh, Villa, Martinez in goal back for Digne, Pau Torres, Diego Carlos, Ezri Conza. Midfield is a bit lightweight today. Uh, Zaniolo, uh, Morgan Rogers, Yuri Tiedemans, John McGinn. It's probably going to be Tiedemans with McGinn in the middle. Uh with Rogers one side, Daniolo the other. We could be seeing Daniolo in the middle. Honestly, could even be McGinn. I mean, McGinn's played a lot of games out wide, but he's, he has to play in the middle today. We've got no Dougie Louise, no Bubakar Kamara, uh, no Timmy Rogue Bunham. We've got such little uh, options for, for uh, central midfield players. Um, not having a holding midfielder recently has been horrible for, for Villa. The only one we've had is the academy player Irog Bunham and a lot a lot of games he's had to play because of injury. It's it's a little bit unfortunate, but at least he's getting game time. I'll give him that. And he's doing well as well. Ball from Odegaard, it's Saka in the box for Arsenal. He's I mean it's not a bad idea, but it's it's easily defended by Villa and then Ben White deflects the ball out for a Villa goal kick. <laughs> it's March Vert, it's no, so he's only good in March, yeah? About to be 4-0 um, with the profile dot dot. I mean, I rattled a lot of Spurs fans yesterday. I was laughing at Tottenham losing 4-0 to Newcastle. And that is still funny. I don't care what anybody says. Um, in a top four race, your performance is that. I mean, it could have been it could have been six, seven, eight. Honestly, Newcastle missed so many chances in that game. Tottenham were absolutely awful. Um, it's not even the only bad game they've had. They got hammered by Fulham. Like, they're they're unserious at times, which is why I said they're Spursy. And Tottenham fans don't really understand why I call them Spursy. But I don't know how they don't know. They, they should know Tottenham better than I do. And yet they don't understand the whole Spursy thing. I, I don't get it. Three and a half minutes gone. Arsenal nil. Aston Villa nil. We do have a throw in on the halfway line. It is Villa's third kit today. Um, I will say, it is such a nice kit. I absolutely love it. Um, we, it's a shame we just don't often play in it. And for years, we had this like third kit curse. We, we, went, we went so long without winning in the third kit. It is, uh, it is quite funny. Arsenal's team today, David Ryer in goal, Ben White, uh, the fullback. I mean, he's, you know, he's traditionally a centre-back, but he's been playing loads of games at right back this season. Saliba Gabriel is like their main centre-back partnership with Zinchenko on the left. I really don't rate Zinchenko. I hope that doesn't bite me in the arse today. But I, I've never rated Zinchenko. 
long ball towards Diaby, but David Rye does very well off his line to uh, get the ball back for Arsenal. Uh, Odegaard, Declan Rice, Kai Havertz in midfield today with Saka, Gabriel Jesus and Leandro Trossard in a front three. Um, it is a surprise to see Havertz in midfield. I don't think Havertz does usually very well in midfield, so, uh, so yeah, we'll see. That I do question, to be quite honest. I really do. Do you support Spurs? Do I? I wonder. Thanks for the ice cream cone from Garnacho. I appreciate that, man. Um, it made me want... <laughs> yeah, i just seen that come up from THFC edits. Yeah. Uh, I, I just think Spurs are a good side. It's just they're a bit unserious. A bit like Villa, actually, in our recent games. Like the Brentford game. Just a little bit unserious. You know, like... You, you look at the way... Uh, you know, Man City, Arsenal, they, they do so well in games. Saka gets a cross in, hits off Pau Torres. Actually, very well defended from Pau Torres. It's just, there's not a lot of consistency with Spurs. Um, and with Villa as well, which is why Villa and Spurs are not, you know, top three teams. Uh, Ross says, need a Villa win. Uh, Reg says, I support Everton. And uh, I've had a comment saying, go Gunners. I don't know why that was... Um, Removed, I do apologise. Someone's comment, Go Gunners, literally was deleted by like a bot on my channel. Uh, I only support Aston Villa. Foul. It looked like one on Kai Havertz, but the the referee doesn't give it. To be fair, I need to see that again. It, it From first viewing. But the Villa fans very happy to see that go out for a goal kick. Will Odegaard turn up? There's been a big conversation this week. A lot of people saying Martin Odegaard doesn't turn up in some big games. Well, today, I mean, it doesn't get a, it doesn't get much bigger, to be honest. Especially with the news of Liverpool losing, it's made it's made this game have a little bit more pressure, I think, because you know, I've got to capitalise on that. Tielemans for Villa. We play out from the back. Ollie Watkins. That's a foul, and it will be given. Thank you for that. It's actually Morgan Rogers, not Ollie Watkins. Villa do get a free kick on the halfway line. I can't believe they're complaining about that. It was a very obvious shove. But yeah, we man, I find it crazy. We 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 do not care who we play, we will play out from the back, you know. Uh I don't I keep I think I've been trolled. I keep getting asked what team I support. It, uh, uh, you know, like whatever. Here's Bakaya Saka. Saka in the box for Arsenal. Digs a cross out, no one there. He whips that in with pace. Any contact on the ball there in the box probably results in a goal. All that from a Pau Torres mistake. Um, well, I like Pau Torres, he's done very well this season. Played quite poorly against Brentford, did well against Lille. And uh, a little mistake there at the back, thankfully not punished. Yeah, vicious, vicious cross. Kai Havertz not far away from it. It, it did go out for a, a throw into Aston Villa. Uh, Manu Gunners says, "Okay, of course I'm supporting Villa. Like I want, I want a team other than Man City to win the league. But at the end of the day, I support Villa, and I want Villa to win every week. Um, I just, I hate the fact Manchester City could win four titles in a row. I think it's really boring. You know, we are becoming the German league very quickly. So, so yeah." Uh, will, you, will I be on this Thursday? Uh, I do cover almost every Aston Villa game. There's usually a reason why I don't. Uh, but when Villa are playing, I am usually live for that. So, uh, you know, just check the channel, basically. Whenever whenever Villa are live, I'm usually there. <sighs> Eight minutes gone. Villa do have a throw in. Uh, Digne put a very long throw into the box with his first one. He might, be, he might do this again. It's something we don't often utilise, the long throw. Um, but when you do it right, it's like another corner, which I do love. Digne is going to go long. It's awkward for Arsenal. It's flicked on, but a foul is given. And, uh, yeah, it's a little shove from Diego Carlos. Free kick to Arsenal. I, it, I don't think he agreed with that, Carlos. Is he, uh, he makes a little comment to the referee. Looked a bit soft, but, I mean, they always get them, don't they? Def defenders get fouls for very little, you know. It's uh, it's really weird the defender attacker uh, dynamic. Like it it takes such a little foul to be given for, on defenders, but when a defender fouls an attacker, it has to be like very deliberate. 
you know, a, a shove sometimes isn't enough, and I, you know, I don't really agree with that. Uh, if I had to guess, oh yeah, a massive Preston fan over here, mate. Massive Preston fan. Up the, oh, are they called the Lily Whites? You know, some ball knowledge. <laughs> um, Aiden Woody says shit on the Villa. I, you know, I will say Villa do not care about West Brom. Um, I've made this comment many times. West Brom fans always get upset. I tell you right now, Villa don't care about West Brom. Like, the only team we care about are Blues. West Brom and Wolves are such, like, shitty derbies. We don't care about them. We don't care. The only team we hate are Blues. You lot are quite irrelevant. Like, I don't know. I'd, you know, you never want to lose any game. And I was, there's, like, a little bit more impetus to to beat West Brom. But I, no one gives a fuck about West Brom. Genuinely. Uh, keep right on says Tony thanks you for the rose from Connor do appreciate that man guys double tap the screen uh, very much appreciate all your support I am live on both YouTube and uh, and TikTok uh, AJS TV feel free to uh, to follow both chats for Arsenal big save Emmy Martinez it's an awkward one at his near post gets two hands on that really good save and now Villa do try and play out from the back. Pau Torres into Digne. Pressed very high. Villa, we do win a goal kick there. It's very good. 11 minutes gone. Still goalless. And uh, I don't think we've done too bad. A, a couple of mistakes here and there at the back for Villa. But I, I think we've uh, we've dealt with them a little. I mean, yeah, they're not scoring from that. I think it was Kai Havertz Yeah, with the angled shot. He's never going to score from there. It has to be an exceptional shot to score from there. Uh, Arsenal Villa combined 11 I'm not doing that live there's going to be a lot of Arsenal players in it right there you go I would I think Ollie Watkins gets in there I don't think any Arsenal fan complains about that um, and I think Emi Martinez is better than Raya and uh, Ramsdale but you are struggling to look I'm not going to be one of those like TikTok YouTube people who just chat shit I, I say it as it is you know and um I do, I do think that <sighs> I've got a cat meowing at my door. I do think um, Arsenal. I mean, there's a reason why they're fighting for the title this season. I'm not going to be one of those people that just picks loads of Villa players because I'm a Villa fan, you know. I like, I, I keep it real. Ben White with a throw in for Arsenal. Twelve minutes gone. Still, it remains goalless. Um, but of a common, common Arsenal from Alfie. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Give me some score predictions in the chat. Please. Thank you for the rose from Josh A. Uh, AVFC. Come on, Villa says Mark. And come on, you Wolves. Random Wolves comment. Good result for Crystal Palace earlier today. I mean, it benefits Manchester City more. Uh, well, Man City and Arsenal more than uh, any other team. But yeah, 2 1 Arsenal says Elfie up the Leeds. Leeds are proper throwing it away, aren't they? Chance for Arsenal cross. It's again. It's a really poor ball. Digne there to only half clear it. Zaniolo now down the line, looking for Ollie Watkins. Won back by I think that was Saliba. Arsenal play it down the left with Zinchenko. They've had a lot of the ball early on in this game, and uh, Villa have literally everybody back defending. Gabriel for Arsenal. I uh, I do worry about this game. I don't know. But we need to make sure we don't uh, we don't lose games in a fight for top four. But you know, Arsenal also have that. You know, they have that pressure. But times ten, like they have to win every game. Uh, you know, a point a point gained is two points dropped. Like you know, look at the way people reacted when Liverpool drew with Man United. Didn't even lose. They drew with them. And people were saying like they're out of the title race. Jesus has a shot that goes over, but he is offside. The high line of Villa. I, I say high line. It's a little bit higher than usual, uh, other than what you'd expect in a in a quite like you know we're going to be a bit defensive against Arsenal. We got players back, but it's still a higher line than most teams play. Hello, to, hello to you, Laser uh, and Jerome Villa, as he says, stay positive and hello, long time no man. Has been. I did speak to you on Discord not that long ago, but how you doing, mate? Uh, I just Pat Watkins in FIFA says Blizzard on TikTok, and I'm a Liverpool fan. Come on, Villa. Uh, any Liverpool fans in the chat? I gotta ask the TikTok viewers right now. 
Um, is the title done? Like I've seen a lot of people be very negative online, saying that you know they lost against Atalanta, pretty much out of the Europa League. They've lost now to Crystal Palace at home. Are they out of the title race? I think it's a little personally. I think it's a bit early to say, but it's a at the very least it's a huge setback. Uh, Megan says Villa on top, and Kian says how are we throwing it away? Uh, I don't know who you support, so you need to you need to elaborate on that, mate. Um, if you're on about Liverpool, well, they've just lost. So, <laughs> oh Leeds, you just lost. Oh, that's it. You're a Leeds fan. You literally lost to to Blackburn. So, uh, yeah, and your results haven't been amazing recently. Like, there's no way you can honestly say with a straight face, Leeds are doing really well recently. You're just lucky that Ipswich and um, uh, and Leicester are throwing it away as well. You're all throwing it away. It's like none of your teams want to go up. Yeah, I know. It's because you're all shit and you'll keep losing games. <laughs> I will say, and it's really harsh, right? But... I do think every uh, every team that comes up from the championship are going to be in some serious relegation trouble next season. Genuinely. I, I genuinely can't see any promoted team from the championship stay up next year. The golfing class between the Prem and the championship is far too big these days. Uh, you know, look at, look at the three that came up. Only Luton have put in a fight, and even they will probably go down. And uh, I still think Luton Town are better than Leicester, Ipswich, are better than any. Chance for Arsenal, Kai Havertz. Big save from Emmy Martinez. I mean, Kai's on his own. Um, I, I think the Villa fans wanted the offside flag to come up. Uh, it was a big save for Martinez. He is offside, yeah. I can see why the Villa fans are complaining in the corner. He's well offside. But the uh, linesman flag did stay down. Lanes, I said, I was at your channel uh, last, I think, when you had Gerard. I can't remember. I mean, that was a long time ago. <laughs> that really was a long time. Uh, score is still goalless, 17 minutes in the game. Um, I mean, you have... you. Th I, I don't know why Leeds fans are... At least this Leeds fan is complaining about what I'm saying. You lot haven't played very well recently. The only side that can actually have a little bit of uh, um, of praise from me is Ipswich Town because, you know, they're newly promoted from League One. And even though they didn't win at the weekend, they have still been... They, they have been doing better than uh, than Leicester and Leeds. I mean, Leicester's collapse has been shocking. Cross the back post header, side netting. And the Villa fans will sarcastically <laughs> applaud Gabriel Jesus there. I, it is all Arsenal, I hate to say it, but they've had lots of chances uh, in this game, but they've yet to score. Odegaard into Saka. It's a good cross from Bakayo Saka. Left foot, he just hooks it towards the far stick. Konza probably should be doing better there. It's a poor header. I mean, that's just poor in general. Poor from Villa and just a poor header from Jesus. So uh, that's not good all round, to be honest. Uh, Laser says, and then when you lot beat us with Emery in his first game, I disappeared. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I had a lot of abuse from Arsenal fans when uh, when Villa beat Arsenal this season. Yeah, Arsenal really scored again. Yeah, they had a big chance. They had a big chance. Bro says because Villa are shit. We are literally okay. You're in the Championship and Villa. I, I don't know why I'm even responding to that. <laughs> Villa are currently fourth in the Premier League and you are in the Championship I don't have to say anything you're not even top of the league um, you've got a, a bottle job merchant manager in Daniel Farker and you've got some good players but you should be you should be all, all honestly promoted with that team the fact that it's even close is a joke Leicester and Leeds have such a good squad like it is embarrassing that both of those teams haven't fully run away with it, in my opinion. The fact it switched down have done so well is crazy. Is Odegaard for Arsenal? Into Declan Rice. 19 minutes gone at Arsenal nil, Villa nil. Gabriel. It's a very slow pace to Arsenal's attack right now, but Villa. Uh, the, the reason for that, Villa are so defensive. Literally everyone is back for Villa. Good ball from Odegaard into Saka. Chance. 
was that I think it was tipped onto the the uh the side netting. It might it might have just gone straight into the side netting. It looked like a save from uh, from Emmy Martinez. Saka was on side. It's an unbelievable pass. Questionable defending from uh from Digne there to be honest. Does this get saved? Nah, it's just side netting. Just side netting. How do you have uh, how do you question how hard Villa have fallen off over recent months and how you beat in City then hold him for a Spurs? Uh, it's just football, mate. That's just how, you know, how it is. Manchester City could win the league this season and yet they didn't beat Chelsea home or away. Like an absolutely awful Chelsea team who are horrifically mid-table. Chats of Villa. Oh, Zaniolo finds Watkins. On the break, Ollie Watkins. Oh, he's trying to do far too much on his own there, Ollie. I mean, the pass from Zaniola, I don't know how it found Ollie in the first place. Morgan Rogers gets a shot away, travels a yard before being blocked. Tielemann still keeps it alive. John McGinn. Oh, that was a waste. I do think that was a waste, to be honest. Ollie, a, a little bit tunnel vision there. Three players in front of him. He still tries to take them on and he loses the ball so cheaply. Konza into Diaby. Diaby against Trossard and he'll go backwards. Just going to read the comments. Michael Buble playing up front for Derby County. Um, fair play to Derby, by the way. Good result. They're probably uh, up now. Wrexham promoted again. Yep, back to back. Fair play to them too. I mean, they've got a stupid budget, but yeah. Uh... Saka bottled the shot. You could argue that, yeah. Very much so. How's the game going? I can't watch it. It's not been too bad. Uh, I think Villa, we've we've definitely got a defensive approach to this game. I'm not, you know, I'm not surprised that we're doing that. Uh, but we've not been too bad. Um, couple half chances for Arsenal. Jesus had a header that he probably should have done more with. And then Bakayo Saka. I mean, I I've seen a lot of greedy, greedy shots on goal for Arsenal where they should be looking for... Uh, uh, for their teammate personally. Good pass into Watkins. Watkins then tries to feed Rodgers again. Oh, Tielemans loses the ball. We're out of... Okay, I'll say we're out of position. Then Odegaard chops back, plays it on his left foot into Trossard. Trossard against Konza. Oh, brilliant defending the RB. The RB out of nowhere. Hooks the ball away from Leandro Trossard. That's brilliant from the RB. Absolutely brilliant. Free kick to Aston Villa. 22 minutes gone. Still nil-nil. We're talking about robbery. Look at Arsenal buying last week. What with the handball? <laughs> I, I do find it funny that the referee doesn't give that. I, letter of the law is a penalty. Like You can't pick up. The whistle goes. The, uh, the keeper makes the pass. He literally picks the ball up. <laughs> like... You don't want them to be given, but at the same time, the law is the law, you know? Um, but yeah, the uh, the referee just, he didn't have the bottle to give that, I don't think. Uh, I cannot show the game live. I would get this channel suspended. I don't know how people are this dumb that they don't know that. Uh, just me, or has Diego stepped up really well recently? I used to think he didn't want to play for the team. He's been doing well. He just needs to cut out these silly mistakes. Long shot for Arsenal. I don't know what I've just... I'm looking at my chat, and then I see a missiling ball fly wide of the post. What happened here? Emi Martinez goal kick went straight to Zinchenko. He just tried to chip the keeper from pretty much the halfway line. Um, What was that? <laughs> que very questionable from Zinchenko. Um, it is a Villa goal kick, unsurprisingly. Uh, if we win, uh, he can have top four... I don't think we're going to win, to be honest. As much as I'd love to uh, to say that we are, I don't I, I don't know. Arsenal are a very good team. And they've been doing very well this season. There's a reason why they've got so many points. And they have dominated this game. Here is uh, Martin Odegaard. Gets a 1-2 with Ben White. Saka now. Everyone back again for Villa. Odegaard into White. The passing from Arsenal is so good. Jesus turns, gets a shot away, it's deflected. I will say, we're getting the blocks in, but they're rolling the ball around Villa a bit too easy, in my liking. Like, uh, that's that's what I'm not a big fan of. 
like the twisting and turning is just it, it seems to be causing uh you know Telemans, Pau Torres, Digne some problems. But the the final like the end product hasn't been there for Arsenal. It's either been blocked or put wide. Is uh, Zinchenko into Trossard? Trossard back to Zinchenko. Arsenal very slowly trying to get this ball into the box. Odegaard with an, a player on the overlap. Saka. Every literally every Villa player is in. Other than Watkins, every Villa man is in is in the box. Saka on the byline, terrible cross. And that'll be a goal kick, brilliantly defended. I mean, it's a bit... What? Is he given a corner? No way. No way is he given a corner for that. I need to see replay. That's shocking. That is shocking. Score is nil-nil. Come on, Villa says LFC 1892. Come on, Villa from Katie. Uh, <sighs> Villa hanging on right now. Spurs Plus says, I think we'll beat Arsenal next week. So yeah, need a draw at least. I don't think Spurs beat Arsenal. I really don't. If that's if the Spurs that turned up against Newcastle show up against Arsenal, they'll get they'll get bulmerized. Uh We do have some stats on screen for you guys on the YouTube. Hang on. There you go. So we've got stats of the game now on screen. Is a uh, oh, good ball from Trossard. Zinchenko into Saka, very overhit pass, and Villa get the ball back. That shot, Zinchenko, I tell you, man, he's just not a good player. I really don't think he's a good player. Good ball into Diaby, Villa on the break. Diaby, Zaniolo on that overlap, does find him. It's just on his own. We've got so little players forward, Villa. It's going to be so hard for us to. Uh, to hurt Arsenal when, when we're just so defensive <laughs> it takes 20 years to get the squad forward Villa have it down the right now with Konza that was Arsenal's turn to defend I, I will say both teams are defending with pretty much their whole team now every Arsenal player is behind the ball I'm not even joking when I say that they've got a back four but Bakayo Saka is pretty much in a right wing back position right now it's only when we pass backwards they start to press forward again. So it's two very defensive setups from uh, from both Villa and Arsenal in this game. Pau Torres. Uh, now we won't be bad versus Arsenal. We'll be up for it to stop them winning the league. And I'm happy with Europa League as long as they don't win the league. So Spurs plus. And Laser says Bruno Fernandes. Oh, chance for Villa. Rodgers. Oh, he skips away. But Ben White with a really important tackle. Oh. <sighs> Rogers beat one man and I thought he might he uh he might do something, but he did lose the ball. Um Bruno Fernandez clears all the players you lot have had the past four years, says Laser. And the problem was there is no whistle for goal kick. The whistle That's true. Yeah, that, that is a big problem with the whole handball thing. Yeah. Fernandez I like Fernandez. He's just lazy. And he's just not a captain. But I do like Bruno Fernandez. Duran asks, how's that corner? It didn't look like one to me. Uh, and Dino says, Jesus, they're all over us. Right now, we do have the ball, though. So, Galama, Galama. Guys, double tap the screen. Any support on this channel will be appreciated. I am live on both YouTube and TikTok. Feel, feel free to comment and all that. I will read your comment out. We'll have a little discussion. All the good stuff. Is Diaby for Villa. 28 gone. Still goalless. Diaby into Rogers. Good ball out. Konza gets a crossing. Ah... Uh... Actually, he doesn't even go in. He just goes out for a goal kick. Very poor ball from Konza. He's not a right back. He's a centre back playing right back. There you go. That's why. I don't even see the point in Konza going forward. He's just really poor. A lot. A Konza's a brilliant defender. He's just not very good going forward. I can tell you that ref. I can tell you that as a ref myself. Wait. I need to read your comment before that. The right thing would have been first whistle and then give free kick, but instead the players, instead the they give the ball free and then whistled. So for the players, the signal will stop. I can tell you that as a ref myself. Fair enough. Good ball forward. Havertz, big chance. Brilliant defending Diego Carlos. He actually managed to catch up with uh, Havertz. A corner eventually does happen though, as Emi Martinez cannot stop the long ball. As it ricochets off um, off Carlos, 
Brilliant defending. Kai Havertz had a uh, had a distance advantage there on Carlos, but he still managed to come back, muscle Havertz off the ball. That's fantastic the individual defending. And Kai Havertz is injured from it as well. Brilliant defending from Carlos. I have no idea how he caught up with Havertz then. As re- I, I will say, I don't know if that's just how slow Kai Havertz is or if that's just how quick Diego Carlos is. Because uh, he never should have caught up either way. I think it's really... Uh, honestly, I, I'm I more think it's just a lack of pace from Kai Havertz. He really should have uh, got distant there. He had he had a good five-yard head start on Carlos. Saka corner. Half an hour gone it. Still Arsenal nil, Villa nil. <laughs> Left-footed corner from Saka. <sighs> Fucking hell. It just... It's a good corner, but Gabriel doesn't attack it. And it goes out for a goal kick to Villa. Uh, Norman Bates says, I, just, I love your name. Uh, Villa will draw Arsenal. You'll see, I promise. I don't know, man. Uh, my prediction was 2 0 Arsenal today. Um, I would love any result, genuinely. But, I mean, we've played all right. We've played all right. I just, I, I'm concerned. If we concede, will the heads drop? That's my concern, you know? Rhythm is a dancer. Konza is the answer. Uh, up Villa. Uh, well, I think that's up the Villa from Henners. Uh, come on, Villa from a red. See, like Diego recently has been really good. Yeah, I, I mean, your comment about Diego has actually uh, aged really well because that's an unbelievable tackle he made. You will not see better individual defended than that the whole weekend. I, I cannot stress that enough. He's had to make up so much ground to make that challenge. Paltaris of Villa, Arsenal pressed so high, really cold bit of passing that from the Yuri Tielemans, two men on him, shifts the ball down the right. Unfortunately, we do eventually lose the ball, but that was actually quite nice from Tielemans. Zinchenko forced to go backwards. <sighs> 32 minutes gone, it is still goalless. I will say, from if you're trying to watch this from an entertainment point of view, there's just not been a lot of entertainment. Neither team has uh, set themselves up for entertainment. It's a very defensive approach from Villa and Arsenal. Is Trossard against Carlos? He slips over. I mean, that's just shocking from Trossard. Villa, the Arsenal fans wanted a foul, but you're never going to get it for that. He literally slips over his own feet. Trossard goes backwards. Jesus into Odegaard. Brilliant defending from John McGinn. As he stops the little fancy flick from Odegaard. Konza hacks it clear. Does concede the throw in though. <sighs> mm. We're, we're really... Str- like when we get the ball, we struggle to uh, to distribute it. So we just give the ball back to Arsenal a lot. It's the high press. It's uh, It's been a bit difficult for us. Although Arsenal do lose the ball from the throw in. Torres... And Arsenal look exposed. Every time we're on the break, Arsenal push so many players forward. Tielemans looking for Diaby, but it's overhit. And that'll be the end of the attack. Mm, we've got to, Those passes have to be better. They've got to be better than that. That's a big chance. Every time Arsenal lose the ball and Villa on the break, it's like a four on four. And we've got to use those chances. The Arsenal push so many players forward on the attack. They defend in numbers, but when you catch them on the break, they are exposed. Like if you take your time, Arsenal will get every single man behind the ball and they defend as a unit. But if you catch them on the break, they are exposed. More, uh, Rogers has lost the ball. Havertz now. Edge of the box. Havertz has a shot that's blocked. Bloody hell. Guys, double tap the screen. Uh, appreciate all your support on both the YouTube and the TikTok. Diaby, back heel. Lovely, lovely pass into Morgan Rogers. Can Villa keep the ball for five seconds? That will be <laughs> that will be the question. Conza into Diego Carlos. It's just the Villa fans singing right now. The Arsenal fans being a little bit quiet. Maybe the pressure. Maybe it's the pressure, you know. Very slow tempo now. Uh, Pal Torres back to Martinez. Tielemans back to goal. Makes a good pass. Into Carl Villa, a little bit negative with the uh, the backwards passing. 
And now the Arsenal fans are, <laughs> are jeering for some reason. Martinez. A oh, lovely ball into Rogers. Lovely flick as well. Villa have a chance. Zaniolo. Referee plays advantage. There was a foul. Diaby. Chance. Diaby shot. Just again, it's just decision making is so poor, man. We have these chances and it's it's wasted. I hope the referee goes back, by the way, to uh, to give a yellow card. There was a clear and obvious shirt pull on Zaniolo and the referee did give advantage. So I do hope he goes back and books him for that. Because it was a very deliberate pull. Zaniolo now down injured, which is not what I want to see. Zinchenko against Konza. He chops back. Has Rice sure. He might go... Okay, Zinchenko, to be fair to him, has put the ball out of play. The Arsenal fans are not happy, but Zaniolo is still on the floor and will finally get some treatment here. And referee is going back for that yellow card, which is... I, I was hoping he weren't going to forget it, and he doesn't. It is a yellow card for the foul, for the shirt pull on Zaniolo in the first place from Ben White. So White will now be on a yellow. And having defenders on yellows is going to help Villa. Is uh, such an obvious shirt pull. I mean, he, he pretty much like took his shirt off his body. Silly, silly shirt pull. How's Zaniola been for you, Sir Laser? He's not been amazing. Uh, he's had glimpses of quality. Uh, got us an equaliser in Europe against Rinsky. Got us a good point against West Ham, but and stopped us losing to Sheffield United. Uh, but it's just I don't know. He's a bit inconsistent, and I just want a, I want a little bit more consistency from Zaniola. His glimpses of quality are great, but they're just few, and, you know, too few and far between. Opinions on Matty Cash? I don't think he's good enough for uh, what we want. Okay, I like Cash as a as a person. I, I think um, he he can actually be okay, um, but football is cutthroat, and if we want to be competing with the top teams in the Premier League, Cash isn't really good enough. And as harsh as it is to say that, I just I don't know how any Villa fan can disagree. You know, is is very attacking, and for someone who's, you know, that aggressive, you know, that aggressive in his attack, his end product is a bit shit. He doesn't cross the ball very well at times. Um, he, he pops up with a goal like every 10, 15 games, but I don't know. I I, ju I think an, a massive improvement on Cash is needed. The fact Konza is playing as a right back over Cash in games, I think, just says it all. Uh, need an attacking right back with pace potentially for him. A Frimpong. I've I've been saying for weeks I love Frimpong. He just wouldn't come to Villa. I've I've been uh, genuinely I've liked Frimpong for several years. He's an unbelievable talent. Uh, him and Grimaldo. I mean they're only getting their plaudits now because of how well they've done at Bayer Leverkusen. But for years I think they've both been absolutely brilliant. Um, yeah, they're just finally getting what they deserve. Chance for Declan Rice. Fucking hell. Gets a cross in. Martinez dives on the floor. Hits Carlos. I had a lit... I mean, the camera angle isn't great, but it, it hits Carlos. And I'm, I'm just thinking, please don't be an own goal. Please don't be an own goal. Saka gets it back. Squares it for Odegaard. He just can't get his shot away. Into Zinchenko. Zinchenko now to Trossard. Havertz on the overlap. Good ball into Odegaard. But another good block from Pau Torres. Village, we don't clear the ball though. It just goes straight back to Arsenal every time. Odegaard, another good pass into Havertz. Cross towards Saka. He gets the header, but it does go over. I'm very surprised Saka won that. He's a short ass. He's managed to win a header in the box with two centre backs on him. That's crazy. I mean, it might have been Dinier defending him. Yeah, it might have been Dinier and Carlos, but still. Mm, I don't rate that from Dinier. I think Dinier's taller than Saka, so he really should win the header. Uh, user says Zaniolo off, please. I think Zaniolo's been all right. Um, you know, we've had to defend most of this game, and it's going to be like that the whole game, I think. Villa won a free kick, and the referee, I mean, it looked like another shirt pull on. Oh, mistake! Watkins chats to Villa on his own. Oli Watkins! Oh, the post! Oli Watkins hits the post, rest of Villa! Oh my god! Ollie Watkins out of nowhere because Arsenal give the ball away. He's completely alone, isolated, gets a shot across goal, and it hits the inside of the post and bounces away. 
Oh, it's millimetres away from putting Aston Villa 1-0 up at the Emirates. And it would have been against her on a play as well. But Jesus, man. So unlucky. And now is Jesus for Arsenal. Saka. Odegaard deflected. Gonna fall to Jesus. Cross. Brilliant save. Martinez at the other end. Saka puts it wide. What is this game in the last minute? Oh my goodness me. Watkins hits the post at one end. And an unbelievable save for Martinez. Keeps out Arsenal at the other end. Wow. Oh, I mean, that's unbelievable from Emi Martinez. It's a tapping for Trossard. It's unbelievable goalkeeping from Martinez. That's an outstanding save. Just seen this again, by the way. It was Gabriel's pass. It hit the arse of Zinchenko. And Ollie Watkins strikes. I mean, that's so unlucky. So, it so easily could have bounced in off the post. It's millimetres from bouncing in off the post. Oh, man. The, uh, the fine margins in football are crazy. The finest of margins. Bloody hell, man. 40 minutes gone. Arsenal nil, Villa nil. I am, I am stunned there's not been a goal in this game. Absolutely stunned. Pau Torres goes long looking for Watkins. Flicked up into the air, not towards a Villa man. And unfortunately, Arsenal get it back. But wow. <laughs> this game... It didn't have a lot of entertainment and then suddenly just everything happens in the space of a minute. Crazy. Scorer is still goalless for the uh, the question in the chat. Uh, you need Eze from Pat. I'd like Eze. Good player. Here's Saka for Arsenal. Into Ben White. Skips past Digne. Saka might get the shot away. He does! Just wide. Bloody hell. Bakayo Saka an inch wide of the post. <laughs> what the fuck? This game has had absolutely everything. For a nil-nil, it's not been that bad, you know. Not been that bad at all. Saka bends it round Tielemans and around Paltaro and Martinez, but round the post as well. <sighs> Villa survive. <laughs> Villa do survive. Bayer Leverkusen are one nil up, apparently going to Dino. I mean, they've had an unbelievable season, haven't they? Uh, come on Arsenal do and Liverpool says Unai Emery oh in my chat <laughs> how you doing Dean is he says our final third is shit I uh, think Arsenal win this and uh, missing Cam missing Bailey um, let's say Ars oh, no I've read that before gotta go to Lille in like two days typical is uh, typical isn't it probably our biggest chance possibly only goal will score and it's supposed seen it many times and come on, Arsenal, do a Liverpool prayers for Harry Kane. Oh, mistake from Pal Torres. Trossard. That's brilliant from Esri Konza. Defensively, I think Villa have been absolutely fucking brilliant this game. In, in terms of like the last ditch stuff, we have been absolutely brilliant. Those instances, you know, the, the defenders have really, have really stepped up. Zaniolo for Villa. Completely surrounded. Gets a throw, and that's really good from Zaniolo. Completely surrounded, and he still doesn't give away the ball. Smart. Liverpool says, come on, Villa. And Marky Mark says, I want goals. <laughs> I want Villa to get a, uh, a result, is what I want. Gabriel Jesus looking... I love the face he pulls. He pulls the same face every time. You know what I mean if you've seen it. It's, it's so funny. Ben White clears it long for Arsenal. One bat by John McGinn with a very commanding header. Diaby takes off his chest, goes backwards to Konza. McGinn launches it long towards Digne. I mean, that's well defended from Saka, to be fair. Not only a, a attacking, but also defensively, he's done quite well. Like I said, pretty much playing like a, a wing back there. Zinchenko very quickly forward now to Trossard. Two minutes to go until half time plus injury time. Is Zinchenko? Oh, great ball! Havertz squares the ball, and uh, he's offside actually, so it doesn't. It wouldn't have counted anyway. Offside versus says Harrison. <laughs> uh, AJ thoughts on Arsenal grabbing a shit house one nil. I mean, they've they've uh, they've arguably been the better team in this game. So I mean the. It is It is what it is. You know, you never want to lose a game. The only chance we've had... 
Well, honestly, Villa have come closer than Arsenal to scoring. You could you could argue that we've hit the post. You could argue that, you know. Uh, Galaxy AVFC to come on the Villa. Um, but I am quite pleased. First half has been pretty good. Uh, I mean, defensively, it could be a bit better if I'm going to nitpick. But in terms of the last stitch defending, it couldn't be much better. It's been brilliant. Oh, Rogers goes down. That's a free kick to Villa in a very dangerous position. Gabriel is absolutely incensed that's been given. But it's a very, very dangerous free kick now. It's Morgan Rogers who has fouled and he's now holding his hand. Yeah, Gabriel just kicks him in the in the uh, chest almost. Yeah, um, very questionable foul. Very questionable foul. Right on the edge of the day here. Gabriel's booked for that as well. That's uh, that's Gabriel and Ben White on yellow cards. Well, this is Dinier territory. Uh, two minutes of added time. We, I mean, we we did see Bournemouth have a free kick, you know, just as close against Man United. For uh, initially, a penalty was given, and VAR overturned it, gave a free kick, and the free kick was terrible. Um, so I'm not, you know, it very easily could happen here as well. It's Tielemans, it's McGinn and Dinier all around. I'd imagine it's a Dinier shot. He loves, he loves a free kick. Let you know. Right hand side on his left foot, swerve it away from the keeper. He loves this type of thing. David Raya still organising his uh, defensive ball. Here we go then. Taking a long time to take this. It will be Dinier hits the wall. Fuck's sake, man. Told you. I, like, I don't get excited about free kicks. And that is half time, I think. Is it? Oh, no, the referee has whistled for something. What has he whistled for? Oh, Gab is it just hit Gabriel in the face? <laughs> I thought he whistled for half time then. Uh, it's just Gabriel getting a scene to. I think the free kick just smashes him right in the face. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh dear. That probably will be the end of the half though. I mean, most of it has been uh, used on that Villa free kick that went to uh, uh, to nowhere. Is Ben White for Arsenal. Saliba into Zinchenko. I can't imagine. I mean, we're past the two minutes now. He could just whistle now. Zinchenko hooks it long. And that's just awful. Well, some booze ring around from the Arsenal fans. Martinez just taking his time as usual. <laughs> he, he's wasting time here, Martinez. And he'll leather it out of his hands. It's gone quite far, actually, towards Watkins. Good header away by Arsenal, though. Villa free kick. Are we going to have any time to take it? Uh, James Boy says, Ast come on, Aston Villa. Uh, Watkins, oh, Watkins was so unlucky. He really was. He really was. Archie goes and says, shit on the Villa. I mean, I'd love to know what team you support, mate. <laughs> Emmy Martinez is the best goalkeeper, says Durant. He's brilliant, though, Emmy. Honestly, I'd, where would I don't know where we'd be without him. Free kicks, good. Stab wide by Conza. That's half time. <laughs> it is Arsenal nil, Villa nil. I mean, I'm quite happy with that. Um, I think we've defended quite well. I know Arsenal had a tap in with Trossard that was brilliantly saved, but overall, I'm quite happy. I think Diego Carlos has been man of the match. You know, I have criticised Carlos a lot, genuinely a lot this season, but he's been absolutely brilliant today. Um, like uh, not put a foot wrong, and I gotta go back once again. That tackle he made, like Kai Havertz had a good five yards on him, in on goal. Carlos sweeps him aside, muscles him off the ball, injures him in the process. 
Uh, just incredible bit of individual defending, honestly. I'm, I, I am so happy with that. Uh, he has been absolutely bloody brilliant. Arsenal definitely been the better team, but they can't finish today, so it's going to end 1-1, said so Jacob. I do agree. I think Arsenal have been better than Villa. Um, I'm not going to sit here and say, uh, you know, I think it's been, uh, you know, it's been the other way around. I, I think Arsenal have been the better team. I will say Watkins was very unlucky not to score. And I think Arsenal fans can agree with that as well. He hits the inside of the post. Like You're not going to get much closer than that uh, to score him. At the same time, Trossard, I mean, he should score. It's an unbelievable save from Martinez, but it's a literal tap in for Trossard. Um, but Emi Martinez is just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, yeah, so Arsenal have been the better team, but you've got to take your chances. It's that simple. You've got to take your chances. Celtic or Rangers? Um, I'm not bothered. I'm not asked. <laughs> um, I don't know. Most people from England will say Rangers because Rangers love, uh, you know, the, the British flag and all the history behind it all, but I don't really care. I think it's funny to look at the tweets. Uh, whoever loses, I just think it's funny to look at their tweets, you know? <laughs> That's what I will say about it. Um, oh, I'd probably be more inclined to say I like Celtic more, li literally only for the fact of the whole Gerrard saga. Like, the Rangers fans are really weird about Gerrard. Um, like, when we first got him off Rangers. So, like, that made me dislike them a little bit, but honestly, I don't really care deep down. Would I take a point? I'd absolutely fucking take a point. I know Arsenal fans wouldn't. Uh, but I would. I mean, that would be four points off Arsenal this season. A team that that could, a team that could win the league, we could take four points off this season. That's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, but yeah, Villa with one chance, one proper chance, and uh, Watkins hits the post. It all came off a weird mistake. I mean, I, I'd be more inclined uh, to blame Gabriel for that because Zinchenko wasn't even facing the right way. It's just a really bizarre pass. Gabriel tries to play it forward. It hits the back of Zinchenko, bounces to Watkins, and he gets a shot away and hits the post. It would have been the, you know, a very funny goal to concede, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to look at the comments on uh, Twitter and all that on the socials to see what the supporters of both teams are saying. Do let me know if you're a Villa fan, Arsenal fan, or just a neutral. Let me know what you think of this game so far. Like I said, uh, Arsenal been the better team, but their their finishing has let them down. Martinez has been very good. Diego Carlos has been man of the match. He's been rock solid. And Villa, we're not created a lot, but very unlucky not to have scored. So, yeah. Get Bailey on Zaniolo off, says Harley. I do actually agree with that. I don't think Zaniolo has been amazing. Emmy's been the best player so far, uh, says Cranksy. And who would I want to sign in the summer? Um, Tough one. Uh, we, need a, we need a fullback, to be honest. So, probably. I'd, I'd look at... Uh, I'd look at right back options. It's just like you, you know, you say names, and it, maybe because we're in the Champions League, we'd have more pull. Uh, a lot of it comes down to where we finish and who we could possibly bring in. You know, I'd love Frimpong, but he'd never come to Villa. <laughs> it, it's that simple. I used to like Max Aaron's, but he's not played. I mean, he's been injured for for Bournemouth, but he's he's not really played much. So. Uh, yeah, I remember he was supposed to be this like generational English super talent and it's just not really happened. Uh, this has a Duran winner all over it and Villa score. It's, it is goalless so far. Um, big chances for Arsenal wasted and Villa hit the post. Uh, Trossard having a tap in. I mean, yeah. Anyway, I'm reading comments from the Villa fans on Twitter. I've got a not bad. I've got a... Uh, the fuck a Man United fan said what's wrong with Watkins okay can't complain with that half we need to keep this up uh, how did Arsenal get the ball drop Villa had possession 20 meters I mean that was another joke as well at the end of the game uh, Villa should have had the drop ball but whatever spent 45 minutes shit in my pants Watkins so unlucky not to score and as for Martinez keep pushing boys I mean yeah Br please lads bring Zaniel off for Bailey and we can uh, cook um, need to tighten up at the back slightly. Fancy us on the break, especially Bailey. I mean, I'd love Bailey to come on. Genuinely, I think he would. He would do something. I get why he didn't start because he played in midweek, but I'd get him on. I would get him on. 
Uh, Villa would just get knocked out. UCL Spurs would succeed in Europa. I mean, you never know. We get a, If we got an easier group, we would have done well. The reason why Newcastle went out is because they got handed the group of death. And Man United are shit. So that's why they went out. And even, even though Man United are fucking awful, they still nearly made it. So I don't know. I think Villa could make the group. I'd, obviously, we're not going to win the Champions League. But I think we could make the uh, the round of 16. I do believe that. We just need to have an, you know, a nice group. If we get fucking handed Real Madrid, uh, Barcelona, PSG, we're probably not going to. But if if we got like Benfica or uh, um, uh, you know, like that Sheriff team that beat Real Madrid a few years ago, if we got <laughs> got them in our group, like I don't know. I think with an easy group, we could cook. You know, Arsenal Twitter. Let's see what the Arsenal fans are thinking. Uh, I rattled a Leeds fan, it seems, because he's just saying Villa is bad. Uh, the reason, so for anyone who's wondering why this Kian is saying Villa are bad, I basically said Leeds have been shit, and he's upset by that comment, so he's just been anti-Villa for the last 20 minutes for some reason. Um, He has been a little bit obsessed. Let him do it, you know? I mean, if it helps him uh, with Leeds, you know, and all the tears that he's got around Leeds United... Let him do that. Uh, just to prove my point, Leeds haven't won in three games and have one win in five. But he criticises me when I criticise... Like, a team that's supposed to go up, one win in five is shit. And uh, he got upset when I called out Leeds. Leeds, if if they go up, which is a big if because they're third right now, they will go down straight away. There is no doubt in my mind. Uh, Watkins should be scoring to be like, yeah, he probably should have scored that. Um... I, I think I, I think the finishing has let everyone down. I think Jesus had a chance at the back post with a terrible header. Saka probably should have scored as he cuts in on his left foot. Trossard had a tap in two yards in front of God. I'd love to know the XG of that alone. And somehow Martinez was there to save it. Like the finishing has let everyone down. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, brilliant save. Difficult to score when you get so little chances. And um, do you think I don't think we'll win though? I'd love it, but I really don't. Arsenal fans on Twitter, you've got great movement from Havertz. We're itching for a goal. We got the game in the bag, which um, I don't know about that. Odegaard is just a baller. Havertz so poor. <laughs> this the duality of man is crazy. You've got great movement from Havertz, and then a few comps later with seventy eight lights, you've got Havertz so poor in midfield. Lots of chances missed. Let's do it, Gunners. Uh, missing a lot of chances, just like Liverpool. Trossard, come on, man, how do you miss it? We're playing so well through, just got to keep going. Um, this Odegaard performance out. I mean, Odegaard has been brilliant, to be fair. His passing has been outstanding. Gabriel almost cost us. Uh, I mean, some people blame Zinchenko. Zinchenko weren't even facing the right way, but whatever. Um... So yeah, I'm seeing a lot of positive. I mean, they they've done all right, Arsenal. To be fair, they have been better than us. Um, but just no end product. No end product whatsoever. Maybe that changes. <laughs> Maybe that changes in the second half. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, I'm. I mean, I'm quite happy. I'm quite happy. Let me know what you guys think will happen second half. I do think like if we can see the goal, I, I do think we uh, we will crumble a little bit. The heads will drop. That's what I'm worried about. Um, the next goal is, if there is a goal, it is crucial. I think I think also Arsenal could also crumble as well, a bit like Liverpool today against Palace. I think a Villa goal would really uh, would really hurt Arsenal. Like I, I don't know if the Arsenal would come back. I, I think if either team concede, I don't see them coming back, basically. Um, so, yeah. Uh, got some more comments. Difficult to score. No, I read that one. What a save. 3 0 Arsenal says Ethan. Villa for the win says Dara. Uh, Corn, you Spurs. Do us a favour. Uh, your Villa playing well. Villa playing all right. Um, Arsenal have been the better team, but I think we're playing okay. Uh, defensively, we've been pretty good. Diego Carlos, man of the match for me. All day, every day. I've missed some comments on my YouTube. Do apologise because I was using my monitor for, uh, for information. Uh, give me a sec. Villa will draw Arsenal. Our final third is shit. Passing backwards. Uh, come on, Arsenal. 
And yeah. So yeah, I'm I'm quite I'm quite pleased with what I've seen. Villa are lucky. I mean, you write your own luck. You could argue Crystal Palace were lucky earlier today. They got the three points. Do you think Palace fans will care? If you went to a Palace fan and said, you know what, you got lucky against Liverpool, I don't think a single Palace fan would give a fuck, mate. I really don't. Uh, Liverpool fan here, if Villa win, it would just revive uh, my mood. Yeah, but it just means City will go clear again. This is what this is like the downside, you know. Of <laughs> if I want Villa to win, obviously, because I'm a massive Villa fan, but I don't want City to win another league title. And I know Villa win today, it puts City at such an advantage. They got such an easy run in as well. And I'm like, you know, Villa have already hand. We've already handed City one league title. <laughs> um, Jem says, "Come on, lads, get Bailey on ASAP." Do you agree? Uh, uh, Kapadjo says how did Watkins shot not go in uh, so unlucky literal inches away it hits the inside of the post very easily could bounce in been decent half got in when Watkins hit the post uh, yo you good I'm not bad I'm joking I respect Villa I mean like I said I don't mind Leeds uh, quite a historic club uh, if you want to if you want to pick like an all time Premier League Leeds have got to be in there but I do think they will struggle. You've, you've got to do a Nottingham Forest where you've got to come up, break rules, spend stupid money. Like, I, I respect... Like, people will be upset at Forest for breaking the rules and getting point deductions and doing all that, like, knowing they were breaking the rules. But what were Forest supposed to do? Like, the rules in place are there, in my eyes, to keep the top teams at the top. Like, you have to invest and spend lots of money. You know, you look at Burnley, Sheffield United and, and Luton... They've all not really spent a great amount. They have to spend, you know, a little bit, but they've all struggled, even with the money they've spent. Uh, what game was the most decision? Spurs at home. Uh, there was just no need to get hammered like that. I thought Sp Spurs didn't even play that well. Like, we were awful, but Spurs Spurs were genuinely not even that good. On another day, Any uh, genuinely, I think any team would have beat them in the Premier League that day, bar Villa. I mean, I genuinely, th well, maybe not, you know, ignore Sheffield United, ignore Burnley, but I genuinely, genuinely believe it was Spurs rocking up playing like that, a Luton Town would have beaten them. I just think we were that poor. We gave them that much respect. What? Okay. Sorry, I had a capture. I hate fucking TikTok sometimes. Um, we gave them that much respect and that's why we lost the game. And we just defended terribly as well. Heads dropped. The red card from McGinn was silly. Uh, but yeah, that was easily the worst. Easily the worst. Uh, it is funny though, because since then they got battered by Fulham and Newcastle, so it doesn't matter too much in the end. Hopefully it won't anyway. <laughs> uh, oh, Newcastle at the start of the season weren't great, no. But I will say, going back to that, the only person who who gave Villa any credit from that game was Sir Alex Ferguson, and you can look this up. I'm not joking. Ferguson said uh, he was asked on a uh, a panel after the uh, the Villa game. I think it was on the the next day for like the other games, and they said what team impressed you the most. He said, despite Villa losing five nil, Ferguson said Aston Villa. He said sometimes you have to look beyond the scoreline and actually see a style of play, and he said he. You know, the scoreline was massively inflated and Villa didn't deserve to lose 5-1. And he got some stick for saying that at the time. I, I think, um, you know, comments like that really show how good a manager Ferguson genuinely was. He, he was able to, you know, see what a lot of people didn't see. Ferguson is the best manager this country has ever had, probably ever will. You know, Sir Alex Ferguson is the GOAT. And he saw something in that Villa team that lost 5-1 on the opening day. And uh, despite, he probably knew he was going to get criticism for what he said. But he's, you know, to, to say the team he's the most impressed with was a side that lost 5-1. That He takes a lot of balls to do that. But yeah, um, stuff like that just really shows me how good Ferguson genuinely was. Uh, Newcastle did you a massive favour yesterday and you're going to mess it up. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Uh, Newcastle, I mean, Newcastle now back-to-back -back games against the Spurs, the hammered them. Uh, I wouldn't play a high line away at, at Newcastle again. I mean, they've, they they seem to cook high lines every time, so I genuinely wouldn't bother. Uh, 
I mean, you say that, Doctor, but Villa are fourth in the table. So, I don't know. I, I think Ferguson was absolutely cooking that. We are underway for the second half. Arsenal against Aston Villa. First half ended up being a nil-nil uh, with Trossard missing a sitter and Ollie Watkins hitting the post against a team he actually supports, by the way. Um... Maybe the second half can be different. I will say, key thing to remember, Ben White on a yellow card, Gabriel on a yellow card. That's two of their four defenders who have to be careful with their tackles. That could play a big part. That could very much play a big part here. If Newcastle had everyone available, they'd be finishing higher. But, you know, if you aren't at balls, should be your uncle. You know, like, it, it's that, it, it's such a, Pointless statement. Like Man United have had horrendous injuries. Villa have had horrendous injuries. Uh, Spurs have had. Spurs had to play Emerson Royal at centre back. So I, I don't buy the injury shit. You know, teams just get on with it. You know, most teams have had problems with injuries, some more than others. But all the teams around Newcastle, ironically, have had horrible injuries. Uh, just like Newcastle themselves. Like, I do agree, Newcastle have had bad injuries, but Villa literally do not have a holding midfielder. Bubakar Kamara, we felt at pieces when he was suspended, and now he's out for the season. Buendia and Tyrone Mings have ACL injuries, you know? Uh, and Kamara, the three Villa players with ACL injuries. Um, it's ridiculous. Villa had an injury on the opening day that we still have now, which is Tyrone Mings. Uh, opinions on Newcastle for Spurs nil. Brilliant result. Uh, it, put us to, <laughs> it put us fourth place without even having to play a game. So, yeah, fair play to Newcastle. Uh, that's why I always say you got to respect uh, St. James Park. Like, it's, it's a very tough place to go, you know. Declan Rice clears long for Arsenal. One bat by Digne. Little bit of head tennis here. Rice clears it long. That's actually really good from Digne. Saka tries to win a throw off Digne, but he actually keeps it in play instead. McGinn now. Against Havertz, spins away, get actually dribbles quite well here, John McGinn, and then loses the ball. Oh, fuck's sake, man. Oh, now Arsenal on the break. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's Havertz. It's Kai Havertz with Saka. He finds Jesus. He goes down. I mean, that would have been very soft. That would have been very soft to give that, to be honest. Uh, yeah, never a pen for me. Never a pen. Never been. What is with Arsenal players trying to dive for penalties, by the way? Saka is so shameless against Bayern Munich. Like, throwing his leg into Neuer, trying to win a penalty. Like, there are other ways to score goals. <laughs> Pau Torres into Watkins, who has to drop deep to get this ball. Watkins into Zaniolo. Tackled by Ben White, but it will be... Is that an Arsenal throw? What? How is that, how is that an Arsenal throw? Zaniola lost... Okay, Zaniola was tackled, and then he's fouled. Okay, there was no subs at half-time. I question that. Zaniolo has since then lost the ball and then made a foul in the space of 20 seconds. Fucking hell, man. Martinez has been class. The score is goalless. I'm surprised Emery had made a sub. Yeah, me, yeah, very much so. I think a sub was necessary. But Emery does this every now and then. He does do this. Uh, typical, isn't it? Probably our only... Oh, no, I read that before. I read that before. Uh... Yeah, 75 of you in the TikTok live, guys. Thank you for your amazing support. Please do double tap the screen. Very much appreciated. Kai Havertz now, edge of the box. Ooh, yeah. I mean, Taylor Vince ain't going to get away with that. His hand is out. It literally hits his hand. He, 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 there's nowhere to hide to it. <laughs> Bro's playing basketball. <laughs> he's unlucky, Tielemans. I think his arms are up to indicate he's not going to foul someone. And then, because his arms are up, the ball hits his hand. Like It is a free kick. It's just annoying. Um, It is awkward, though. Phil Foden scored from this distance against Villa. We just need a wall that doesn't jump out the way now. Because uh, uh, Foden scored simply because of uh, the fact that Zaniola jumped out the way. Which still annoys me, because that should never happen. It was a fucking awful Villa wall. Odegaard and Declan Rice both on this free kick. It probably will be Martin Odegaard. 
Zinchenko's also floating around, but there's no way it's going to be Zinchenko, is it? Arsenal do have their uh, their fake wall. It's Odegaard. It's brilliant. I'll tell you what. It's Carlos again in the wall with a with a really good header. Brilliant defending. It's again a terrible free kick. The score is goalless. Uh, Verton Smoke says up the Villa. Duran says hi. Villa play out from the back. 50 minutes gone. Arsenal nil. Aston Villa nil. Diego Carlos into Martinez. Villa play out from the back. Right to the byline as well. Digne, three Arsenal players around and then still finds a pass. That's a free kick. And a free kick is given for a foul on Zaniolo. A little pull from uh, Declan Rice. A very unnecessary foul for Arsenal to give away, to be honest. Time is ticking. Will Arsenal get that goal? They haven't really threatened Villa so far, second half. Up the Villa from Swansea, Wales from Birmingham. Uh, I'm a Spurs fan. I honestly think I'd rather Villa win. I mean, th this is like the, the horrible um, debate that Spurs fans have to have. Their rivals win and potentially uh, go back top of the Premier League and fight for the league title, or Villa win and uh, get some daylight ahead of Spurs. Like, it's it's it must be a horrible, a horrible thought for... Uh, for the Spurs fans. <laughs> I think most Spurs fans will say they would rather Villa get top four than Arsenal win the league. I mean, I think it's very obvious. I can't imagine any Spurs fan disagree with that. Um, uh, Al, is your name Els? Says, I'm a Villa fan. Duran says, I'm happy. And the Villa played well so far. We've been brilliant so far. I'm, I'm quite happy. I think the, You know, the first half... It wasn't perfect. Defending at times wasn't amazing, like players getting turned left, right and centre. But it was the the crucial moments of defending was where we actually turned up, like Carlos and Pau Torres making really important interceptions and tackles when they were desperately needed. That's what I'm happy about. And the one time we've needed Martinez desperately, he made an incredible save as Tr uh, Trossard had a tap in in front of goal, which Emmy made. Uh, the save really good bit of uh, goalkeeping ball cleared long only as far as Pau Torres for Aston Villa Villa with a, a little bit of ball possession here which is quite nice to see Carlos into John McGinn Conza now on the right Diaby is an option Conza back to Carlos again very slow from Villa. Watkins, that's a good turn. Watkins, that's a good ball. Into Zaniolo, chance. Zaniolo, good block again, Gabriel. He's defended so well for Arsenal. Zaniolo in the box again. Turns, oh, loses the ball. And Watkins hooks a shot that goes over. Please take Zaniolo off, Unai Emery. Please do, please do, please do. Zaniolo has just not been very good. Please bring on Leon Bailey. I beg. Please, please, please. <laughs> Lille will give us uh, a tree at their ground. I am terrified of Lille. I made a video on this. Lille have the best home record in France. Lille have lost one of their last 38 home games. I do not want to play Lille. <laughs> I, I, I am terrified of going away to Lille with just a slender one goal advantage. A lot of Villa fans are saying, you know, just get a draw away, but it's such a tough team. Um, look, I know ALAW stands for all leads, aren't we? So, um, if yeah, so I don't know why you're trying to make me say that. I'm not stupid. Long ball towards Jesus, and he's offside. Uh, mind the gap, mind the gap, man. Yeah, like to surely Ten Hag is gone, right? Surely. Surely, surely, surely. I, people try and get me to... It doesn't. <laughs> people try and get me to say things all the time. Like, I, just for clips and stuff. Um, 
but you're not a football fan. If you you gotta know like the the team acronyms, right? So like keep uh, KROs, Birmingham's keep right on, you know. Um, oh, you yeah, know, UTV up the Villa. Leeds one is A L A W, which is all Leeds, aren't we? And they also have M O C, which is marching on together because they sing that as their anthem. You know, you gotta know these things. Gotta know these things. Um, is Declan Rice for Arsenal? Odegaard. Villa have everyone behind the ball once again. Good press from Watkins, though, as he tries to uh, trap the ball higher up. 55 gone it. Goalless still. Um, I am indeed. I am indeed from Birmingham. I am reading the comments. Sorry, I'm just trying to watch the game and read comments. I do apologise if I've missed yours. Um, in 10 Argyle Trust, says Marky. Um, please get Arsenal out of the title race, says Katie. I mean, <laughs> it, that requires Villa getting a result, and it's going to be very tough today. It's going to be very tough indeed. Why isn't let me say up oh, the Villa, bro? I don't know. The the mod weird. Um, the auto bot thing on TikTok is stupid. Um, I will I will time you out if you keep saying uh, if you keep spamming uh, ALS. I'll time you out. Cheers. Uh, what time is it? What time is it at? It's right now, it's in the 56th minute. And the score is goalless. Can we please not spam the chat? You will be timed out. Why do people do this? I did have a, a mod who's very good, but they can't be here all the time. Opinions on Liverpool nil Palace 1. I think Liverpool have bottled, unfortunately. And I wanted Liverpool to win the league, but they're bottled. Laser says, can you... <laughs> I'm not saying United. <laughs> Angry Ginge has ruined that phrase for me. <laughs> He has indeed ruined that. Uh, is you've got like non-United fans that will that will say United, United, <laughs> all because of angry ginger. It is Ben White for Arsenal coming up to the hour mark? Gabriel Jesus now. Villa so defensive. I mean, I say Villa so defensive. Arsenal are the exact same. When we have the ball, they've got every man behind it. As long as it's not a counter attack. Is Jesus good tackle again? Morgan Rogers, but then we give the fucking ball away straight away, which means the tackle means nothing. Digne now gets it back, launches it long, straight back to Arsenal's attack. It's just like a repeated process. We get the ball, we give it back. We get the ball, we give it back. Another interception from Digne. Will we give the ball away for the third time in a row? Technically, we did, but we get it back and we give it away again. For fuck's sake. It's just long ball. This time, it was a long ball from John McGinn. And finally, we get the ball with a foul, I think, on Ezri Konza. Fucking hell, man. It was a foul on Konza. We, we struggle to distribute the ball when we get it. We just, you know, we hook it straight back to him. Leon Bailey's going to come on. Come on, Leon. Cook these frauds. I don't mean that. <laughs> I do not mean that. Um, before we lose like three or fucking four nil, whatever. Uh, come on, Villa is a Liverpool fan. Uh, I'm a Liverpool fan, which is why I want Arsenal to drop points. We can still win very unlikely now. Yeah, I, I think the result now, to be honest, the result against Palace has really fucked you lot over. Um, honestly, like any drop points now will help Liverpool, but you got to think as well. It, this if Arsenal don't beat Villa and the fact that you lost to Palace, this is just perfect for Man City, which, uh, you know, it's just not what I want to, it's not what I want to see really. I, I'm sick to death of Manchester City. <sighs> Arsenal do get a corner. It was a Pau Torres interception. A Galaxy says we need to pick ourselves up. Yeah, we started well in the second half, but we're slowly allowing Arsenal to dominate the game again, which is a little bit frustrating. Um, but yeah, as well, Man City's running is such piss. It's so easy compared to like Liverpool's and uh, um and Arsenal's. City could genuinely easily win the next four games. Like their games are so easy. Bakayo Saka for Arsenal. Good corner, but it's Rogers away. It's a terrible shot. It's an awful volley from Declan Rice. It's gone. Uh, it's literally gone off the screen. It's gone that high. Oh dear. <laughs> There's the sub though. Go on, Leon. The RB's coming off on the hour mark. 
Arsenal nil, Villa nil, but it's Leon Bailey. Can he start cooking? No, the Ar I, I want the army to still be on, right? And I wanted Zaniolo off, but he refuses to take off Zaniolo for some reason. <sighs> Don't know why. All right, I am going to time this guy out because I did say, can you stop um, spamming? And he refuses to stop. So he gets a timeout. You know, I'm quite fair on this channel. Um, just don't be a weirdo. It's not a lot to ask for, is it? Dan says, as a Liverpool fan, Villa are genuinely quite good to watch. I think we we do play uh, sometimes this like rock and roll football where it's like high line, um, a little bit direct. Today has been a little bit deeper, I, but you got to understand, we've got players out injured. We've got to defend better. Like we concede so many goals. So today, entertainment wise, it's not going to be as good. It's like when Arsenal went away to the Etihad, you know, they they pretty much did what we're doing now, which is very defensive football, uh, trying to play on the break, maybe get something there. Um, you've got to have different ways of playing, you know, like you can't play the same way every time. Spurs try and play the same way every time. It doesn't work. Like even when Spurs were getting hammered like 2-3-0, they didn't change their, their game plan at all. And I don't really get that. Villa corner though. Front of the Villa fans. It's a Leon Bailey corner. It will be his first touch of the ball. It's not terrible, actually. Oh, just deflects away. It's won back by Tielemans. Gets a shot. Oh, the post. It hits the crossbar and post. Yuri Tielemans nearly puts Villa 1 0 up with an absolute screamer, but it just hits the crossbar and post. Oh, my fucking God. It's it's a typical Telemann screamer. It's so unlucky. How an honestly, man. What an effort that was. So unlucky, man. Kai Havertz has been booked. Villa have another free kick inside Arsenal's half. <laughs> Telemann's just laughing to himself about his shot. Fucking hell. What a shot that was. I want to see a replay. Bullet of a strike. David Ryan nowhere near it. You can have three David Ryers in goal. You're getting nowhere near that. It bounces off the top of the crossbar and onto the post. That's so unlucky, man. Still, it's goalless. But it's a no like I said, it's another free kick to Aston Villa. It's John McGinn. It's in the box. It's awkward. It's Rodgers. Oh. Poor really. Tries to keep it alive. Bailey gets it back. It's actually been all Villa the last couple of minutes, which is crazy. Is Digne. Digne hooks it forward. Flicked on. Pal Torres tries to help it on towards Ollie Watkins, but the ball eventually goes into the hands of David Raya. This is winnable. Villa have one job, says uh, Harry. And we're taking the piss now. <laughs> it, it, this game has had everything. Oh, no. Here come Arsenal. Bukayo Saka against Zaniolo. Squares it. Jesus. Big save, Emmy. Big save, Martinez. Flag stays down. Another cross comes in. John McGinn takes off his chest and eventually offside it does show up. It's another big stop for Martinez, though, to deny Arsenal. It's a comfortable save, I think, really. It's not in the corner and it's uh, it's one of those like comfortable heights. I need, I've seen the shot again from Tielemans. <laughs> that's, honestly, that's unbelievable, that is. That is uh, the fact he's nearly scored that is outrageous. Oh, he's bent it up and over David Raya. I mean, you're not going to get any closer to scoring than that. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Charlie says, up the Villa. Can you please not spam the chat? Would appreciate it. But thank you for saying up the Villa. Ball towards Watkins again. Well intercepted this time from Saliba. 64 gone. Arsenal nil, Villa nil. John McGinn with a very good tackle again. And gets the ball away from Bukayo Saka. Still John McGinn down the left for Villa on the break. Villa get a corner. Come on, you Villa boys. John McGinn's done so well there. And I tell you what, Villa really turned up the last few minutes. Come on. We've really upped the tempo here. We're not going uh, to bend over and die. Come on, you Villa boys. A lot of people expected probably Arsenal to start cooking second half, but it's Villa who've had these chances. 
And we've definitely come closer than Arsenal are scoring in the second half. So the Yuri Tielemans corner, it's going to be an in-swinger. 65 gone. Several players forward for Villa. It's a corner. Oh, it's a poor one. Headed away at the near post by Jesus. Another header forward from Digne. An overhead kick attempt from Bailey and a foul has been given because he's basically kicked an Arsenal man here. <laughs> is, that, is that Diego Carlos? <laughs> Carlos has basically kicked um he's kicked to Odegaard there. Oh dear. Oh dear. Martinez, fourth best Prem goalkeeper for Allison. I mean he's better than Keller, but um Martinez is world class. The uh, world's number one, Emmy Martinez. And come on, Villa, please win. I mean We've had chances. You can't say that we've not played well. We, Watkins hit the post first half and then Tielemans hits the crossbar and the post in the second half. And I've just seen this replay again. Diego Carlos with an overhead kick attempt. He literally kicks the chest of the <laughs> gut. It's, it's obviously an accident, but it's still kind of funny. There's going to be subs for Arsenal. Tommy Yasu and Gabriel Martinelli. Are uh, are gonna come on? I imagine that's Zinchenko off for uh, for Tamiassi, right? Um, I also wouldn't be surprised if uh, Havertz comes off at some point. He's not played brilliantly, and he's on a yellow. Ben White on a yellow is subbed off actually for Tamiassi, so it's not. I thought there might have been a, a mix up in their back line then, but it will be Tamiassi for Ben White, so Zinchenko does stay on. I don't think he's played very well, Sinchenko. So I'm surprised he's uh, he's not going to go off. Martinelli's on for Trossard. I mean, Trossard hasn't been brilliant and he did miss a tap in. So I think those subs from Arteta are actually quite smart. I'll give him that. See, we've got Zaniolo who's just not been playing very well. And he's not come off for some reason. But Arteta has identified that Trossard and, you know, certain men have just not play very well Ben White on a yellow he's identified that so I'll give Arteta that credit you know uh, Curtis Davison says up the villa Watkins is better than Haaland I, I think look Watkins has attributes that Haaland doesn't have Haaland's obviously you know it, he's very good at scoring tappings I don't I'm not saying that to take the piss but he's just very good at arriving in the box uh, I think Watkins had a better season than Haaland because of the goal contributions. Haaland's technically the top scorer in the Premier League, but Ollie Watkins only two behind him, plus all the assists on top of that as well. So uh, I, I think there is a shout for it. Um, but, I, you know, Haaland's like best striker in the world. So, uh, so yeah. Spurs get fourth, says May. I mean, they might. And Tom Williams says, I'm a Villa supporter. Uh, lovely ball towards Martinelli. Villa want an offside. It's finally gone up. I mean, it took 20 years to give it, but eventually it does go up. And Villa do get a free kick. Yeah, you got to remember as well, Ollie Watkins does not take Villa penalties. That is a, that's, you know, another big thing. Like a lot of the uh, players, like Alexander Isaac has um, a lot of goals for Newcastle, but he takes their penalties and he's took a lot of penalties for Newcastle this season. He's very good at them, but that's a lot of his goal out output. Long ball for Villa, looking, I mean, it's looking for Bailey, but it's well over here, and it's gone straight to David Raya. 20 minutes to go here. Arsenal nil, Villa nil. I think Arsenal were the better team in the first half. I, I dare say Villa have been the better team second half. You know, we've had the best chance to score second half. We had a, a bit of a dominant spell, although that's another good ball, though, for Tamiyasu, but... It's just like a hit and hope cross from Tamiyasu, cut out by Carlos, who's been man of the match so far. The key word is so far, but he has been rock solid. Ben White for Arsenal. Into Odegaard. He's been, to be fair, Arsenal's best player. Odegaard. Oh, that's brilliant from John again. Just muscles. Kai Havertz off the ball. He's just not a strong player, is he, Kai? He has been bullied by Villa today. He's just not. He's a good player, Kai Havertz, but he's not a midfielder, and he keeps playing. For some reason, every now and then he'll play midfield. He's played in midfield today for Arsenal, and he has struggled. He's just too lightweight for the Premier League in that position. In an in like an attacking front three, that's where you really see like Kai Havertz uh, like good qualities. But he's just too lightweight. 
in midfield. Long ball towards Ollie Watkins. Flick header. Doesn't find Zaniolo. A free kick, though, is given to Aston Villa. Villa do take it quickly, but the referee is going to stop us from doing so, which is a bit annoying. It's actually a really good pass to Bailey. That's unfortunate. Uh, McGinn's Villa's best player, says May, and we've been so unlucky. We all know what's going to happen late on, says Khan. I mean, let's be a bit more positive, you know. Let's be a little bit more positive. I, I think we play well, you know, and we've uh, we've already beat Arsenal once this season. I'm not saying we're going to win today, but um, I am positive so far, you know. 90 minutes uh, at home, 70 away, and we've not conceded a goal to Arsenal, who are, you know, one of the best teams, if not the best team this season in the Premier League. I think that is a very positive snap. The Tielemans shot is so unlucky. To hit the crossbar, bounce down and hit the post and bounce out is just outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. Zaniolo looking long towards Digne, but get him off the fucking pitch, man. Zaniolo has been utter shit today. And for some reason, he has survived the subs. How? I don't know. Awkward ball towards Gabriel. And I mean, he's had to hack it long, basically, because he was put under pressure. But it's it's another example of Arsenal giving the ball away very cheaply. When they did not need to. Pau Torres for Villa. Into Zaniolo. Good turn. Ball into Konza. Konza into Bailey. Bailey has two men on him. No overlap from Konza. He's on his own. Oh, he tries to find Morgan Rogers. This is the problem though. When you want to be a bit more defensive. Konza isn't going to drift forward. So Bailey has to do a 1v2. Oh, Konza slips. Konza slips. But a foul is given. I mean, mm, I need to see that again because it didn't actually look like there was a lot in that. It looked like a slip, if anything. Norman did say a draw, remember? Look, let's go. Let's calm down. Let's calm down. Baby, calm down. Calm down. I, we all know Arsenal are like late on in games, you know? Uh, I'm just going to take a moment to laugh at someone who made a big post with emojis and stuff, basically saying shit on the villa that got instantly muted uh, by my bot. So, uh, <laughs> cheers for that. Um, I agree. It's probably not a foul. It's probably not a foul from first viewing. It didn't look like one. See, I'm very unbiased on this channel, you know. Um, and I think I've read all the other comments. There was one about Arsenal going to lose. I don't know. I, I think this game is very even. It. I did say at half time, if there was any goal, it would be the winning goal. I did expect one by now, to be honest. And like, I predicted way before the game uh, that we'd lose this 2 0. But we've done really well today. Um, and we've fought, we've battled brilliantly. You know, we've hit the post first half, hit the crossbar on post second half, had chances. Zaniola now on the ball for Villa, completely alone, still on the ball, still attacking against Tamiyasu, and he wins a throw in, possibly a corner. He's, you know what? I've criticised Zaniolo. I think he's just won a corner for Astonville. Literally four Arsenal players completely isolated and surrounding him. He gets a deflection and gets a set base. It is a corner. Wow. That's honestly, that's genuinely outstanding. Villa players are forward. Carlos is currently edge of the box. So is Konza. I imagine both of these are going to run, sprint in the box, get that header. It's a Yuri Tillemans corner. The last one didn't beat the first man. Corner comes in. It's a header up. It is. It's another corner. It bounced and Villa get another corner. I think it hits Rice. 74 gone Arsenal, nil. Aston Villa, nil. But it's back to back corners now for Villa. Bit of an awkward spell now for Arsenal. Come on, these, the corners of Tielemans haven't been amazing. I think uh, the, there was one that Bailey took that was a lot better than that. Tielemans, one, if one corner hit the near post and that one... It's not right in the danger zone. Tielemans, corner, near post, flick. Scramble. Oh, Torres, is that a third corner? Well, he, he's claiming handball, pal. We're going to see this again. Is there handball?
No, it hits his chest. It hits Havertz's chest. It's a third corner in a row for Villa. I said the first one was terrible. But we keep getting deflections. The last one was the better of the three because it caused a bit of havoc at the near post. But again, these corners, they're just not going past the first post. Tielemann's corner. Oh, I think he's been told to target near post. Everyone has gone there. But it's not really caused any problems. Zinchenko heads it away. Saka. This is a chance for Arsenal to counter-attack. It's Declan Rice. The roar of the Arsenal fans end. Rice, diagonal. Really good ball, actually, but... We do have Carlos there to defend. Zaniolo gets a bit lucky with a ricochet. John McGinn. It's been all... I tell you what, last 10 minutes, it has been all Villa. It has been all Villa. How much for Watkins? Genuinely wouldn't even think about selling Watkins for less than 110 million. You got to remember, right? He's probably not worth that, but it's worth that to Villa, you know? Because, like, you've got to replace a striker and replacing strikers is one of the hardest things to do in the sport, so. Ball from Zaniolo towards Watkins. He's on his own, but he's got it. It does have Bailey with him, but so many Arsenal shirts back. See, Arsenal, if you don't attack, counter-attack them, they just get everybody back to defend. Every single Arsenal player is behind the ball 30 yards in their own goal. Very much like what Villa do. Like I said, it's pretty much a mirror uh, when these sides attack. Villa so defensive and yet so are Arsenal. And I don't blame them. I don't blame either team for setting up this way. Villa do have a player down. The Conza may have to put this out of play, but we, we're we going to keep the ball right now. Bailey. That's a foul. That's a foul! Ref! Bailey's tripped over then, but the referee doesn't give it for some reason. And then uh, Martinelli's bullied off the ball. Oh, the referee does stop playing now for a Villa play down. I need to see. Is this Saniolo again? More subs for Arsenal are being prepared. Emil Smith Rowe and Jorginho. Yeah, it's Saniolo. He's gone down. I mean, he should have come off a long time ago anyway. <laughs> Dougie Louis says ref is acoustic. That was a very obvious chop on uh, on Leon Bailey. So I can't believe he's not given that as a free kick, to be quite honest. But whatever. Uh, Milo says up the Villa. Rio says up the Villa. Watkins could win Golden Boot. Um, he's not going for less hundred. Exactly. Exactly. Wouldn't want to sell him anyway. Can we swap Curtis Jones with Tielemans? <laughs> Tielemans has been brilliant. I will say, Leicester fans, right, when we first signed Tielemans from Leicester, their fans were saying, oh, Tielemans isn't very good. Oh, he doesn't perform. Like, he doesn't... He doesn't, like, run around and he doesn't put effort in. Tielemans has been very good for Villa. He's put a lot... Maybe he wanted to leave Leicester, which is why he's playing like that, but he's been very good for Villa. If I was a Villa fan and Jorginho scored a winner against us... I was, Jorginho did once. Well, technically, it was an own goal. But in um, uh, a game at Villa Park against Arsenal, um, they beat us 4-2. But... In the 90th minute, Jorginho had a shot, hit the crossbar, bounced off Emmy's back and went in. Um, and then when we tried to push them for an, an, like an equaliser, we Martinez went forward from a corner and we conceded the fourth goal. Yeah. Technically not Jorginho's goal, so uh, he can hold. Alex Moreno is going to come on. I don't like that sub. I'm going to say it now, I don't like that sub. Digne has been brilliant for Villa. Defensively, not put a foot wrong. Moreno on. Moreno's not very good defensively. Oh, wait, what? Moreno's come on for Zaniolo. What? No, never mind. What? What is going We've got another defender on the pitch. I thought it was going to be a Moreno on for Digne because he loves that sub, but Digne's still staying on. It's Moreno on for him. So Moreno's basically... It's like having another defender on that side almost. I mean, he's very attacking, so I mean, I, I do kind of see Emery cooking a little bit here. He's very quick, and uh, he's an aggressive fullback anyway. So he's just basically playing like a winger. Moreno wanted a throw in, but he's not been given it. Zaniolo, low key been cooking. I mean, yeah, I mean, he does he does some things very well. Like um, like I said, he 
where there's been a few times where he's been completely isolated and he dribbles and he still manages to win like a throw in or a corner and he's very good at that but that's genuinely the only positive I can make about uh, Nicolo Zaniolo tonight. He's just very little going forward, bar winning a couple throw-ins and set pieces. Uh, Brody says, up oh, Arsenal. Guys, 131 of you in the TikTok live, do please double tap the screen. Would would be very much appreciated. Um, and I am live on both YouTube and this. I was going to say in Discord. I'm live on YouTube and TikTok, AJS TV. Please do follow. Would be very much appreciated. Long ball into the box for Arsenal. Headed away and barely cleared. Zinchenko will gather it back. But it's a heavy touch. He's lost the ball to Leon Bailey. And Villa on the break because of Zaniolo. Not Zaniolo. Because of Zinchenko. I got Zaniolo on my mind. It was Zinchenko's mistake that gave Villa the ball. But i got to say, Declan Rice completely shut out Bailey there. And we've had to go backwards. So he, ha he has been helped out um, by his teammate there, Zinchenko. He's just played terribly, I think. I just I don't rate him in general anyway, but he's just not played very well. You already know Smith Rowe is. I mean, it would hurt if Smith Rowe got a winner because Villa desperately wanted to sign Smith Rowe. I don't know if you guys remember that. Villa had like four bids rejected from Arsenal in the space of like two three days. We just kept bidding. Like we started like twenty two million, then twenty four, and then it was like slowly rising, but they kept saying no over and over again. Um, and I wonder if Arsenal would have took that offer now thinking about it because like he got injured and like since then and that you know this is at smith rose peak so uh i wonder if they would have took it you bid for smith rose as well before he got Barmer. oh dear chats of villa conza conza on the break down the right options in the box conza's cross is blocked villa do get a throw you know i'd rather that because conza's crossing his shit so uh, he's actually done well there we do have a throw in we don't. Someone says I don't pay enough attention for us to double tap. I'm watching a game of football, mate. I'm glad my butt um, decided to time that out. But I'm literally watching a game of football. I'm just trying to talk and do all that. I miss goals. Literally trying to read chat sometimes. Arsenal always come with a super sub, um, and that's kind of it. Someone said I want Europa League Spurs. Aren't ready for UCL. I mean, look at Newcastle. I mean, you can argue both Spurs and Villa aren't ready for Champions League, especially United. If I mean, United are definitely not going to make it. But yeah. Arsenal bottle the league again. You never know, man. They, they've played well this season. I just want another team other than uh, other than Man City to win the league. Corner Villa, though. Bakaya Saka in the block. And we're in the 83rd minute now. And it's still Arsenal nil, Aston Villa nil. Now, I'm not sure many people saw this coming. I'm not sure many would have saw this coming. And second half, I don't think Arsenal played very well at all. Villa have come a lot closer to scoring than Arsenal in the second half. I mean, Arsenal dominated us in the first half, but they've just, yeah, not really performed second half. As of yet. Corner is short this time. To the edge of the box, it's Moreno gets a cross in. <sighs> Headed away. It's awkward. Tielemans now. Into John McGinn. It looked like a foul there. McGinn. Moreno. Digne on the cross. Oh! Bailey! Yeah! Yeah! Bailey scores! Bailey scores! At the back post! It's Arsenal nil! Aston Villa 1! It's Leon Bailey! In the 84th minute! Oh my god! Yeah! <laughs> Leon Bailey arrived! Arsenal 1-0 down at the Emirates! Oh my goodness gracious me! Come on you Villa boys! Wow! The substitute Leon Bailey has rolled the ball away! Come on! Brilliant! Absolutely brilliant! Wow! I mean, I, only, what, 30 seconds ago, I said I'm not sure many Arsenal fans expected a nil-nil. I don't think any expected Arsenal nil, Aston Villa won. This is absolutely extraordinary. Five minutes to go. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> that is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I wanted Bailey on a half-time. Come on, you Villa boys! Wow, 
all the Spurs fans in my comments yesterday saying, oh, you're going to get battered by Arsenal. Oh, that result against Newcastle means nothing anyway because Villa are going to get hammered. Yeah, fuck you, man. It's uh, Even if we don't win the game, Arsenal nil, Aston Villa won. I will say that Arsenal responded very well because they do have a corner straight away. <laughs> they do have a corner straight I've lost my voice. <laughs> I have lost my voice. Oh, wow. Bro, I am so sorry. I commented on your Vin Arsenal win, but getting we won't even get so far. <laughs> yeah, look, let's come. Look, we, we haven't won this game. So, uh, look, let's come. I am getting ahead of myself just a little bit. Corner from Saka. Villa smash it away with Tienemans. Zinchenko takes it down. Defensively, Arsenal were awful. That's something I will say now because I've just been celebrating, basically. Long ball to Watkins. I need to shut up. Only Watkins is in on goal. Still. Oh, yeah! 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 Only Watkins. It's 2-0 to Aston Villa. Yeah! Come on. Watkins chips right out. That's three points to Aston Villa. Arsenal, wow! Arsenal are bottling the league! This is absolutely extraordinary! Arsenal no! Aston Villa 2! And it's, I can't believe this! Ollie Watkins chips Raya! Villa are gonna get three points at the Emirates! Wow! And it's the Arsenal fan, Ollie Watkins! That is unbelievable! Absolutely unbelievable. You can't be offside in your own half. Every Arsenal player forward there. Literally the only one back defending was Emil Smith Rowe. Wow. I'm absolutely stunned. <laughs> I am stunned. That is absolutely extraordinary. <laughs> Bukai and Saka with his head down. Unbelievable. And the Arsenal fans look devastated. They look absolutely devastated. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Wow. A league double. This will be a league double. Villa beat Arsenal 1-0 at Villa Park earlier this season. And in the 88th minute, it's Arsenal 0, Aston Villa 2. Goals by Leon Bailey and Arsenal fan Ollie Watkins. On, this, on the same day, Liverpool lose against Palace. This is literally the Manchester City wet dream today. What? <laughs> I don't think City expected... Uh, Liverpool or Arsenal to drop points today. The fact that they've both potentially done it is outstanding. Oh yeah, shit, I didn't even change the scoreline. I've been that excited on my own stream. I didn't even change the scoreline. <laughs> Thank you for that, Luke. I literally, I've been celebrating the last several minutes. I forgot to change my own overlay on my stream. This is unbelievable. <laughs> This is absolutely unbelievable. Ollie Watkins is now one goal behind uh, Erling Haaland in the Golden Boot race. I can't believe it. An Aston Villa player is up for the Golden Boot. <laughs> and now Diego Carlos is helped to his feet after going down. Wow. Now, man of the match is Diego Carlos. I don't care that we've scored two goals. Diego Carlos has been absolutely rock fucking solid the whole game. He's been absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. As Stan says, we're in Arsenal. Are there any Arsenal fans in the chat? I have 131 people in my TikTok line. Are there any Arsenal fans in the chat? I'd love to know. I, I generally, uh, this is not me taking the piss. I want to know what Arsenal fans are thinking about this. I genuinely want to know. This is, <laughs> this is absolutely extraordinary. I, I never in my wildest dreams thought we were going to get anything today. 
Here come Arsenal on the break though with Gabriel Martinelli. But once again, it's another amazing tackle by Yuri Tielemans. Surely there's not that much. Eight minutes of added time. I don't know. If, I genuinely don't know what for. Eight minutes of additional time is insane. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh my, I can't believe this. Guys, please do, please double tap the screen. Um, we, we, like I said, we've got loads of people on the TikTok live. I'm live on YouTube as well, AJS TV. Uh, any support on this channel will be absolutely massively appreciated. Um, I just, I'm lost of words. I'm absolutely, absolutely lost of words. As things stand in the Premier League, I think Villa go three points above uh, Tottenham. I'm just going to have a look now. Uh, on flash score, bear with me. <sighs> just like Arsenal's defence, my fucking app isn't working, you know? So I don't know what's going on. I have to wait. <laughs> Tommy Asu with the throw-in. I can't believe this. I genuinely can't. Arsenal, if they go on and win the league, we will have done the double over Arsenal. How crazy that is. Absolutely wild. Gabriel for Arsenal, out wide. To uh, Martinelli. Martinelli's done absolutely nothing since coming on, by the way. I am going to say that. He's going to get heavy criticism from me. Arsenal, if anything, have looked worse since uh, he's come on. Man City, top of the league, 73 points. Arsenal, second on 71. Joint with goal difference with Liverpool on 71 in third place. Villa will be three points above Tottenham with 63. I mean, what a weekend if you're a Villa fan. <laughs> What a weekend as a Villa fan, eh? Fucking hell. Unbelievable. Luca Dinha, he will be saying his famous, another one, at the end of today. Love that. Absolutely love that. Brett Yates says, get in there, you villains. And man, your TikToks are so funny. We just bullied 10-year-old Spurs fans. Of the Mate, the Spurs fans in my comments yesterday saying that we, wanna, we were going to get battered. I had Spurs fans twerking for Arsenal in my comments yesterday. Spurs fans were saying, Arsenal going to batter you tomorrow. I, I would never twerk for, for Birmingham like that. No way would I ever do that. I don't care who Birmingham are playing. I want Birmingham to lose every game. But to, to twerk that hard and say, oh, you're going to get battered by Arsenal anyway. It's just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Mate, props to Villa. Spurs don't deserve four, says Jules. <clears throat> I mean, look, one weekend of... A, look, this is like the... I say that Spurs will still be happy that Arsenal are losing, but in terms of the top four race, it's you know horrible weekend for Tottenham. We still got a long way to go. Villa could very easily bottle in future games, right? I mean, there's a small chance we bottle this game. We've got um, five minutes to go. They'd have to score now, you'd imagine, to have any hope. Martinez will clear this long for Aston Villa. Looking for Ollie Watkins. It's hit off Gabriel. Villa do get a throw in. The Arsenal fans, I will say, there's loads of empty seats at the Emirates Stadium right now. Loads of empty seats. As a Spurs supporter, I take fifth. I mean, I've had a lot of Tottenham fans come in here today and say they don't think Spurs are ready for Champions League football and that they would actually be suited better for the Europa League anyway. So um, I, I do think both Villa, Spurs, and if you want to put United in the conversation, you can. But they'd all struggle. Bailey into Watkins' chance for three! Oh! Brilliant save. Villa nearly got a third. What is going on? <laughs> Good ball into, uh, into Ollie Watkins. He has actually gone down there holding his leg, which is not what I want to see. Uh, I mean, Bailey's offside anyway. So I don't think it would have counted. <laughs> but Bailey found Watkins. And it's a really good save from David Royal. <laughs> wow. The, the empty seats at the Emirates are insane. There are rows of empty seats here. Martinelli for Arsenal, squares it for Declan Rice, gets a shot. I mean, that's just sailed outside the ground. That's awful from Declan Rice. That sums up Declan Rice's afternoon, to be honest. How you doing, Bo? Uh, how you doing, mate? I do remember you. And Brett Yates says, dude, I was watching a YouTube channel this morning. They were saying that they were going to hammer us. But if we win this, i, I got a funny feeling I'm going to get banned from their channel. And Jay Thing said, Villa, Aston Villa, Arsenal's owners. Wow. I will say... I do uh, look. I do want either Arsenal or Liverpool to win the league. But after today, I mean, Liverpool. If you can't beat Palace at home, you definitely don't deserve to win the league. 
and Arsenal have been found out today. They were slightly better than us in the first half. I admit, second half, Arsenal have been fucking awful. Arsenal have been absolutely dross in the second half. Like, it's not even been a contest. First half, like I said, they were better. But they have not... Villa actually reacted at halftime. Una Emery, whatever he said at halftime, we've reacted. Cut out every defensive mistake that we made from the first half. Diego Carlos has been given man of the match. I mean, I've been praising Carlos all day today. And even I said, despite scoring two goals, I think Carlos has been absolutely fucking world class. And I'm one of the biggest critics of Diego Carlos. But he's been absolutely brilliant today. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Oscar says, same last year of Arsenal. I mean, uh, I I do rate Arsenal. It's just they, they can't lose games like this. Like, they genuinely cannot afford. I will look at general. I'll look at mine general. Um, dream big hashtag. Comp oh, my God. It's in a Chelsea shirt. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, Spurs Plus says thank you so much. Oh, the Spurs fans, I mean, they will take they will take massive delight in laughing at Arsenal today. And I'm sure the Arsenal fans will reply with, Oh well, you want to finish top four anyway. So you shouldn't be laughing at Villa. Uh Villa winning. So that's gonna be their reply, but I mean I'm sure the Spurs fans will not give a fuck. Um I'm starting to think Zaniola has actually decided to put a shift in. I, I think he's He's done enough today. He's done enough. How do you feel about midweek? What are your thoughts about Leo? I'm still scared of playing Leo. <laughs> Believe it or not. I'm still scared of it. Uh, Brett said, I got 20 quid on Villa to win it. Uh, it was 9-1. I'm, I'm glad we've nearly won two minutes left. Yeah, that's it. I mean, we've won now. Even if we concede, we're just going to hold the ball in the corner. We have well and truly done it. Guys, 142 of you in the, in the TikTok live. I got over 9,000 likes on TikTok today. If we can push to 10K, that would be insane. If you can double tap the screen, I'll be, I would be massively, um, appre appreciative. I think this Villa performance deserves that. I mean, that Villa played so well today. I'm, I am so proud of this team. Unbelievable performance. Like, it's not just about the goals that we scored, but Ollie Watkins, like the the work rate, Diego Carlos, you know, sprinting uh, as fast as he could to de to uh, deny Kai Havertz. Kai Havertz was in on goal in the first half, you know, several yards in front of uh, Diego Carlos, and still Carlos came back to make the tackle. Like uh, honestly, the the defensive display from Villa has been absolutely brilliant today. Absolutely brilliant. And we've got the 10k. Wow, 10 and a half K. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for that. I mean, what an unbelievable, unbelievable afternoon. I predicted a 2-0 Arsenal win today. Guys, I'm not only after the game, I'm gonna be doing obviously a video to react to all this. I am gonna post the uh the goal, like my reactions to the goals as well on TikTok. So make sure you do watch that as well. Because um, I am definitely going to edit that and upload it to Leon Bailey's going to hold the ball in the corner. That should be game over. We're over the eight minutes now. <clears throat> He's actually gone backwards to Conza. He could have just held the ball in the corner even more there. But with seconds to go, Unai Emery, master fucking class, guys. He wasn't good enough for Arsenal. He's done the fucking double over Arsenal. I love Unai Emery. I love Unai Emery. He is absolutely world class. Third best manager at the very minimum in the league. I love this man. Villa fans doing the Olays. I think the full-time whistle is about to go. There it is. It's three massive points for Aston Villa. It's three massive points for even Manchester City as they've gone top of the league with a bit of distance now. Arsenal, have they bottled? Have they bottled the league? We've got, we've still got several games to go, but you cannot afford to lose 2-0 at home to Aston Villa. We've been absolutely brilliant today. What a performance from Aston Villa. Thoroughly deserved to win. The second half performance alone is enough to deserve that win. Arsenal, nil. Aston Villa, two. Bailey put Villa 1-0 up. As a cross, I mean, it got a bit fortunate. It just fell to Leon Bailey at the back stick and he rolled it away. And then, <laughs> Ollie Watkins in on goal, chips David Raya, sits him on his ass, put Villa two goals up. Absolutely world class. 
Uh, JX says, Unai Masterclass Smash Arsenal. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Stupid comment. And it's not about how far we go in the UCL, it's about the players we can get. Exactly. So we, getting in the UCL, if we make it, we could get so many good players, man. It really does open the door. Thank you. You guys have been amazing in my TikTok, in the YouTube, all that good stuff. I am going to end this stream. I am going to make a TikTok video just talking about the game. Uh, and I'm going to post my reactions from this game on TikTok, YouTube, all that good stuff. Thank you all for being here. Enjoy the rest of your day. Come on, you fucking Villa boys. And I'll see you again very soon. Lille, second leg. I will be there. Can Villa get to the semi-finals of the Conference League? Find out on the